I'm delighted to be with you here again. It's Ben Surate, and I want to talk to you about the difference between changing your focus um, from something's worth to something's cost. Now, this applies to every area of life, every area of life, but I'm going to use numbers to make it more realistic, but also to make it more understandable. And by numbers, I'm really referring to something that you can measure in terms of finances. You see, the, there's a difference between um, people who are wealthy and people who are still living and leading the average life. Um, and from my experience and from my study, what I've found is that the successful people in any area of life, they focus on something's worth to them rather than the cost. I'll give you a good example. Let's say you want to um, buy something. You walk up to a supermarket, you walk up to a store, you walk up to um, somewhere where something is being sold. Some people look at either an item, a commodity, and they say, what does it cost? I'll make this more practical. Let's say in the area of investing, you've been presented with either a stock You've been presented with a bond. You've been presented maybe with a real estate rental um, investment. Perhaps even this could be silver or gold. Most people seem to stop and say, what does it cost? And they make their decisions based on what it costs. The focus there is about instant gratification. What's in it for me right now? The wealthy, the successful people ask the question, what is it worth? But more importantly, what would it be worth in 10 years? Now, I love Warren Buffett primarily because um, he is one of the greatest investors we've had in the 21st century. But I like his, his lifestyle. I like the, what he believes in. I like his approach and his methodical approach to investing. And one of the things he talks about is the intrinsic value of an investment. He's talking about wholeness. He's also talking about longevity. You see, he doesn't invest based on what something is worth now. He's always thinking about what would it be worth in 70 years, 80 years? What would it be worth in 50 years? And that is the difference. He has what we call long-term thinking. Most people have what we call short-term thinking. Most people are thinking about instant gratification. The wealthy, the successful people, on the other hand, think about delaying gratification so that they can have what they want in the future. In the same way, you have to change your focus in all areas of your life, not just in money, but in all areas of your life where you start to ask the question, what is it worth? When you use your time, the question shouldn't be, how much time am I going to spend? No, you should be asking the question, what is the return on the investment of my time? What is my time worth? And by investing this time, what is my return? When you want to buy or purchase an investment, don't ask the question, what is it worth? What it costs is irrelevant. If the worth, if the return on the investment is appropriate, then you will find the means to buy it. You see, in so many cases, I've met some people who have walked away from so many great investments people who have walked away from great relationships, people who have walked away from having great health, having happiness, enjoying their life, simply because they were focusing on the now. And I don't really blame many of them because my generation, unfortunately, we live in what I call the entitlement generation. We believe that life owes us everything and that we should have it right now. I believe in living, but also I believe in living for tomorrow and so many people I've met but also so many people I've, I've heard about or read about um, let go of their destiny of the future because they were unwilling to release what they had in the present they cling to they cling too hard to the now that they forego the destiny and the greatness in the future you have to change your focus from looking at what something costs to what something is worth now let me use a different context so you can see how um, this can be used in all areas of life. In relationships, when you meet people, um, we seem to judge 
first by appearance, by sight. I usually say style is important. Style always comes before substance because people would judge based on what they see. But you have to be clever enough to look beyond sight, but look at people with vision by asking the question, what is the potential in them? And are they willing to put that potential to good use? Rather than saying, what have they done? So in many relationships, when you think about intimacy and intimate relationships, when you meet two people, meet each other, the focus is always about what do they have? What have they achieved? Very few focus on who are they? What character do they have? And what dreams and goals and vision of the future do they have? And who could they become? Very few people focus on the potential within. They seem to look at what people have done. They say, what is the cost? What time will I have to invest? As opposed to, what would be the value and the return of my investment in them? You can go to the area of health. Most people say, well, I don't want to exercise in a day because it's going to cost me one hour every day to exercise. That's the wrong focus. The focus should be, what is it worth? What is the value to me? By training one extra hour every day, I can create more happiness in my life. I can create more connection with people. I can even increase my long the longevity of my life. I can keep away diseases. I can keep away illness. I can keep away cancer. I can be more fruitful. But most people don't think about all of the benefits. They think about now. They think, well, if I give one hour of my day, then I don't get to watch entertainment. I don't get to watch TV. I don't get to socialize. I don't get to go to the pub every day. Wrong focus, wrong question. By asking the question, what is it worth? What you find is that the feelings you have and your thinking changes, which means that your actions and your activity will change, but also it means that you start to become someone who is deserving of that future. So let me summarize by saying this. To change your life, it's not as complicated as we think. It's quite simple. It begins with focus because wherever you focus, whatever you focus on, your energy moves in that direction. Your focus controls your feeling. To change your results in life, change your focus. Take your focus away from what something costs right now and instead focus on what, what it's worth in the future, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now. And if you can do that, what you will find is that you will start to build the foundation for greatness, for the genius in you to come out, because you will start looking towards the future. And guess what? Wherever you look, whenever you gaze towards the future, what happens is that you have a vision. And as like Solomon said, he says, without vision and dreams, the people perish. So when you start looking away from what something costs to what it's worth, you're activating the ability to dream and look, see with your vision. Vision creates hope. Hope creates inspiration. Inspiration births passion. God bless.